Hi, what's up? Today we're gonna make some nice Caribbean food. We have here some grated sweet potato with some rye plantain. It's all peeled. To that we add in some chopped some chopped garlic and a bit of ginger. This is going to be our spiced sweet potato and plantain fritter. I'm gonna have this along with some um, some nice stew sawfish with green bananas. What else do you want? Good food. You understand? I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Um, some of the spicy chili sauce. Just a little spoon. Approximately one teaspoon and the other spice we're gonna use is some nutmeg if I can find it all right here it is so a little sprinkle of nutmeg work this all into one or mush you know so you just get a mash up and you just mash it in this is going to be shallow fried and serve alongside the boiled plantain, I mean the boiled green bananas which we have going on over there with the swordfish. So all to come together now. We're gonna do the fritters a little later on. See? See the consistency? So we put this on the side, this on the other side. Yeah, we have in the swordfish which has been boiled boil twice you understand you strain out the excess water and then you allow you just cool it down with some cold water over it so fish came to the caribbean a long time ago um it was one of the foods that was a dry food you know it was able to have a longer life and it became part of most islands you know would have it as one of their dishes along the way either as a breakfast, as fritters as, and how we're going to have it today as part of our main course the test the test is for the knife to run to fall straight back out still a bit holding but these ones are on top let me check and they normally split the skin they're almost there these were green but when boiling they tend to go all dark and you know, it's still good because we, what we're eating is inside of this. We'll show you a bit later. Get the salt fish on the go. So get a, a hot pan. We're going to use some vegetable oil. And just let that heat up. About two tablespoons. We're going to be adding some of the stuff that we prepared earlier. This is uh, some sweet peppers. And we have some diced onions and tomatoes. Get your hands involved, you know. You don't want it too small, you know, you want it still have nice pieces to bite into where it's happy to me. So that's that. Swordfish too. Gonna sweat off some onion and garlic. Tomatoes. Okay, back some of the tomatoes for a little later on. Get the aroma of the garlic and onion that's sweating through. We add some hot chili, fresh chili if you have. Today I was outside, but you know, you could use some of the chili sauce. Add a nice little bit of spice. I like to put a bit of salt fish now. This will help, you know, flavor the pot and give you a nice taste in gravy. Add some tomato puree to that. Just let that cook off again for a couple couple minutes. Once your onions are soft, start to melt. Add a bit of the peppers. Once again, we see it back. This is going to help garnish the dish at the end. Then and add a bit of color. You can see what we're going to be getting. Some nice, you know. Colors of the Caribbean, red, yellow, and green, you know. The 
black pepper. At this point here, we're gonna add the rest of the swordfish. And you just combine that in. Here we're gonna add some fresh thyme and then a bit of water. And then we bring that to the boil to get our gravy. Tell us how you started to become interested in cooking. Well, the family always cooked and we have a big family. Um, mommy was always in the kitchen cooking up a storm with her, you know, money saving dishes. Um, my sister was into food and it just, you know, dad would be in the kitchen. It was just something that I would see going on. And um, at first I wasn't interested, but, you know, going along the way and just looking and learning, I, you know, I started to get involved in the kitchen myself. And it is. Add a little black pepper to that. A little squeeze a lime. This brings out a nice freshness in the dish. And there we have our saltfish stew. Gonna get the pan on. Cook off our sweet potato and plantain fritters. It's gonna be shallow fried, so we just need the oil to coat the bottom. In the meantime, while the oil is heating, I will show you what you do with the green bananas. <laughs> they literally, once they cook, they literally fall out of the skin. You understand? Know you just scrape it clean. See, they literally just fall out of the skin. You scrape off. By this time, our oil should be almost there. I'm going to just have us a few kernels of the butter. Oil should be nice and hot by this time. I'm just going to get a few of these. Just a file. Pitch for anyone who's interested in trying some Caribbean food. Just going to get, get one more inside of there for now. In the Caribbean, we tend to have a lot of um, ground provisions and and like bananas, green bananas, planting in a different variety. Today we still have in the green bananas boil and we have in our sweet potato and planting in a different form. Normally sweet potatoes are fry, fried or boiled on its own but today we're going to have a combination which I call my spiced sweet potato and planting fritters. We want to Get a nice color on the outside so you do, you want to just ensure that the oil is not too hot. You know, once they're nice and brown, you can have a look, see this nice golden color we're going to begin. Just turn them over and you're allowed to fry. I'm to get my service plate ready. Green bananas are a very good source of iron. Quite filling, so we don't need too much. Should be sufficient. Like you just drain the excess oil, like like little party snacks, you know, with a nice little sweet chili dip or something. Would be a very nice accompaniment to any any meal. So it's all coming together now. Did you do any cooking in school as a boy? Or funny enough, um. I was one of the first boys to, in my secondary school in Trinidad and Tobago to, to choose the option of doing food and nutrition um, at, you know, at, at the entry into secondary school. At first it was looked upon, you know, a, a lot of the other guys who were doing the woodwork class, they were like, why are you going to be doing that? But I had my interest and I saw the opportunity where I would be able to learn more and it was such a, a great you know beginning for me i had a teacher from the netherlands you know she was dutch and she brought to me a, a, a few different dishes you know things that i would have normally been cooking down there one of my first dishes i cooked was a, a real schnitzel you know for me that was like what sort of you know russian name is that you know but it was all part of the process of me you know, gaining my experience in the cooking field.
And there it is. Here we have our boiled green bananas, our stewed saltfish, with our lovely spicy sweet potato and plantain fritters. Hope you guys enjoy.